I have a Norwegian joke for you. Go for it. <laughs> Why don't more people live in Norway? I think you told me the answer yesterday. <laughs> you because they can't afford it. <laughs> oh my God. That's another good one. All right. So if you've been to Northern Norway or ski tour in other locations in Northern Norway, Lofoten is also still unique because the mountains are, are so close to the ocean here. And it's just really accessible here. You have a road that goes around these islands and you can just ski tour out of, out of the car. Compared to other places I've been in Norway, I mean, just that the tree level is so much lower than, than in the south just makes a big difference, you know? Yeah, it's like easier you, to get into the Alpine, yeah? You're like right in the Alpine, you know, like three, uh, two, three hundred meters and you're up there. What do you think about the ski in here? No, it was great. We had, the, I guess, that first day we went to the Preston Quarry, which is basically, uh, it's a beautiful uh, clear-cut quarry with like granite walls, but then as you get up there, you're looking down, you have that beautiful green ocean below. If you just kind of block out the white and the mountains, it just looks like it's like the Mediterranean Ocean or something below. That's a super cool line. I mean, it's, it'd be a good line anywhere. Sure. This place here is what in Norwegian we call a fiskhandelstad. It's an old, uh, you know, fishing village really, where all the fishermen would row their fishing boats in the 1800s. They would all be in three-man rowboats, and they'd have like a little sail, and they would be fishing by nets. For Lofoten, this is a very typical place. It's the same houses here now that was here in 1860. Okay. And at that time, it was built like a farm. But you know, here in Lofoten, you don't have so much acres. We have what we call the, uh, the blue acre. <laughs> the motor industry more or less changed the fishing industry. A lot of these places were left empty to rot. A lot of these cabins weren't used. And now we bring skiers in from all over the world here and uh, take them on ski touring and ski mountaineering adventures uh, in the local mountains. It seems like there's a lot of weather here. Anywhere you go where there's potentially great snow, there's also potentially really bad weather. Totally. It's just how it is. So. But that's what makes it so special when you do get that day where it's sunny, you have good snow. The day we had on Blotin was, couldn't be any better. It snowed uh, probably maybe 20, 30 cm's the day before. And we got up there and it was just like, Snow is good, there's lines right here, and all of a sudden people were just going off and doing laps and hiking, and then we're at the peak. It's hard to decide what way you want to look. You can look inland and see peaks forever and then turn the other way and you see ocean and islands and ships and 
beautiful fjord, so really special landscape to come and ski and, and look around and see that from standing on top. And we're skiing perfect powder above the most beautiful setting, one of the most insane spots I've ever been. So sometimes you just get lucky.